Guys, I'm back. I'm doing roadie shorts. I'm not on tour, just so you're not confused. I'm getting light in the background, so I'm going this way. I'm go this way. I'm here with my buddy Michael Miller, because he invited me out to a show in Boston tonight at uh, the MGM, whatever this place is, the MGM. Now, take two. <laughs> take two, here in a truck. My, a truck. My, my hair was not right. Well, my hair is never right. We have the same stylist. That is true. That's true. Yeah. So we're here in a truck at the MGM. This isn't the MGM Grand. What is this called? The MGM what? Fenway. MGM Fenway. MGM Fenway. New venue. This used to be a parking lot. Believe it or not. This whole entire thing wasn't here. Nice theater. Yeah. So anyway, guys, I, I'm, I'm back. I usually do roadie shorts when I'm on the road, but I'm not on the road. So I decided to hit Michael up because he was in town with Bush. On tour for how long now? Two weeks, two weeks to go. One month tour. So it's a one month tour. So when did you start? When did you start the whole drum tech thing? 1986 with a band in Miami called Gypsy Queen. and went on to Pat Travers Band. And kind of built up from there. I've done other things in life too, but uh, primarily drum tech. 86. Well, you're a stage manager this too, right? Do you usually take that gig as well as the drum tech gig? If you no, but it? I do some stage managing. Mostly, uh, I've, I've done a handful of festivals that that I do annually, okay. and uh, I'm doing a, a gig right when this tour finishes for a Billboard Women in Music Awards. Yep. Okay. I like doing that kind of stuff. And okay. I like taking this particular job on when it's a band that's manageable and, and something I feel in my comfort zone. Are you a drummer? I like to play drums, but I'm not a drummer per se. I'm not playing in a band. You didn't get into I'm not this. having a desire to play in a band. I love right. to play right. and work out patterns, right. but I love working on drums. Okay, you didn't get into this as a drummer. You got didn't into get into this. it as a drummer. I mean, so how did it actually start? Like, how did you actually even know that this was a job? I didn't. I, as a kid, my parents would always go out drinking, and there would be a band playing at the bar, and it, in the, they, nobody cared then, so we would go sit in front of the band. I would sit and stare. I was just mesmerized by drums. I still yeah. am today. I don't yeah. know what that is. And then I, my first concert was Kiss Alive 2 in 1977 in Washington, D.C. It was a pretty great first. Yeah. So kind of the theatrical rock was... I'd say so. Yeah. And, uh, and I've always enjoyed that. And then I got lucky. I was hanging out with a band in Miami in 86, and yeah. um, hanging out with a drummer, and I had already... You know, had all the as a kid, I had the the Ludwig. Do you remember the big Ludwig brochure that had all the kids oh, yeah. with toms? Oh yeah, of course. All the, you know. Yeah. Oh, that's so right. I got lucky and I got hired by a job and started learning. And uh, I already had skills that pertained to drum teching from other stuff I did in life. Interestingly, right. metal work, machine right. skills, and tuning right. actually, because I was racing sailboats before, and we did a similar thing. Tuning a sailboat rig is actually what? Yep. Rigging on here. it's a similar fucking thing I've done. Wow, it's there, there were a lot of similarities, actually, many in sailboat racing. You sleep in bunks there, too. Um, I learned the most uh, interesting boats. thing doing this. Um, Rody so, right mm -hmm. now. It's a very similar <laughs> and it's teamwork. And on a boat, you have each person has a position. Yeah. Like, I ran four decks, I was rigging sails that go up in okay. front of the mast. Yeah. Everybody has a specific job, just like here. So, oh, no um. It's I'm weird how it's connected. It's oh very connected. I, it's the so similarities strange. over the years amaze me. But wow. so I've been really lucky to yeah. stay employed as a drum guy. Oh, that's fantastic. Do this kind of stuff and hang out with people like you. Well, yeah. I'm on an acquired taste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we all are. What's your favorite thing about touring? Day off, walk about. Because oh, I like to explore. Yeah. I like to be anywhere I've never been. And sure. on, on any day off, no matter what city you're in. You can find cool stuff to do, and I just like to walk. I like to be around people and yeah. uh, find good food that I like to eat. Yep. See a city. I just really enjoy day off on tour. I enjoy the whole thing, the show day. But I think you know, it can be pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. And definitely. and especially around the world. But America, well, yeah, when you get to tour the world, yeah, for sure. There's Absolutely. plenty of places here in America, and oh, yeah, it yeah, changes yeah. every time too. Because if you stay in different hotels in different parts of town, you could yeah. play Chicago ten times a year. But if you stay in different parts of town, or you always learn. Yeah, see something new. You always yeah. see something new, have a different yeah. experience. And what, what's so? All right, so that's your favorite thing. What's, what's your least favorite thing about touring? 
my least favorite. The availability to get the food that I like to eat. Ah, yeah. That's it. Okay. I gotta work hard to do that. Catering's okay. hit and miss every day. Okay. Uh, I just like to eat well and eat quality food. Yeah, I noticed so. you're eating uh, from Whole Foods today. Yep. So This isn't I, sponsored by Whole Foods. Just saying. My touring should be for me. I should have a. I should own. I should own a Whole Foods. The amount of money. <laughs> there, there's a lot of great food in the country, but I, I like to get on Apple Maps and just find yep. juice bars and find little local places. So I'll skip out during the daytime after yep. sound check yep. and uh, go find food or order on Uber Eats. Okay. Have it delivered. Cool. Staying healthy. So man. the ability. It's hard to stay healthy. It's hard to stay healthy. You, uh, you don't always have a choice to. You can be at, at a casino somewhere in the Midwest, right. and there is nothing that is deliverable, and there's nothing to eat right. that's edible in, for me in those places. But. Other than that, man, I can't complain about anything on the road. I love pretty much, right. pretty much the whole thing. It's good. I think you get uh, over love what you years. Get. Yeah, you get you get desensitized to a lot of little stuff that would bother normal people. I think over time, and after a while, it's every day is pretty consistent. Yeah, you make of it what you want to. You sure. Know? You uh, you're going out with Alice there. after this. Mid Alice April, Cooper. mid April, we start. That's how I know Michael, by the way, from the Alice Cooper. We've known each other a long time. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, okay. we have a busy, busy year ahead with Alice, Good. and uh, then two months with Hollywood Vampires in Europe in oh, nice. June and July, which nice. is great. We haven't done that in oh, that's awesome. unbelievably like yeah. five years or something, yeah. four years. Fantastic. So Vampires, then back to Alice, and because there's vampires in the middle of an Alice year, that makes for a busy Alice year because sure. we work a little extra because everybody now is camps now affiliated with vampires, so that sure. it's going to be a, a nice busy year finally okay. coming back from the pandemic. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Been a time for sure. Yeah. Well, last question. I'll let you go. I uh, yeah, I got when your drums to set up. That's right, your drums to set up. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're already set up. <laughs> what uh, what's your favorite thing to do when you're off the road? When you're not touring, what do you love to do? Um, that's a problem. I don't know what to do when I'm not touring mm. and when I'm home. Downtime. You're out, you're out is, downtime is frustrating for me because I don't. This is what I like to do. This is our environment that we work in. Right. The production environment. Right. So when you're home, you just kind of you go from uh, from this to uh, sitting in front of the TV. With, Feel a little. I mean, awesome. I live in LA. There's a lot of cool things to do, and there's plenty, plenty to stay busy and sure. plenty to do if I want to. But, but sure. honestly, um, I like to work, so I like to stay busy and I like yep. to stay around people, and that's where my uh, my happy you're place just, is. Yeah. And you're comfortable out here. Mm -hmm. You feel you're more more comfortable out here, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That's Absolutely. Great. That's great. Absolutely. It's an environment that it's a unique environment. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you taking the time talking about this. Oh one. yeah. Really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love you, Pete. I love you too. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks a lot. Man. Appreciate it. This guy's taking over for me on the next Bush tour too. That's why he's out watch here. Watch out for me on the Bush. Another drum tape. And then watch out for him on Alice. All right. See you later.